Hey guys, how's it going? Rubik's Master here, coming at you with another The Elder Scrolls Legends campaign mission. So, where we left off last time, we finally got off our ship, chasing after the cultists who have Lanith with them, and we had to fight off the locals, which were these little tree-like creatures you're looking at here, and we're chasing the cultists further inland, and that's where we're at right now. So let's see what this next little cutscene has to tell us about our situation. Okay, so the cultists are kind of out of the picture now. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. For dramatic effect. Alright, so we are going to roll with our Imperial Might deck. I'm really loving it still, just in how many... In how... It just overwhelms the opponent. However, the deck that this enemy is going to use against me is going to be... A bit of a challenge for this. Because, um... This Goblin deck is really good at shackling and just nitpicking at a bunch of my creatures that I call out. Thanks for the rescue. And since, by default, most of my creatures are kind of weak, it can end very, very badly. And if we're not careful, we will be too. Alright, so let's hope for a good starting run. Shackle a creature, a 1-1. One, one. If you have more health than your opponent, summon a Golden Saint. So this is going to be really weird, but I am going to keep that six-pointer, because that could come in really handy later on. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and play our 1-1. One, one. Though my bet is he has a card in his hand that's going to kill that immediately. Okay. Decent, decent. Prophesying Guard. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play that over there. That will negate that card, hopefully. This Goblin's deck has a ton of pesky little cards in it that decrease my overall damage. Okay, so he needs to be killed very, very soon. Um... Um, shoot. Okay, so I'm gonna summon this over here. I'm gonna go ahead and just give myself guard. And I'm gonna hit him once. Get him down to one health. Gonna deal another bit of damage to this guy. Now I know for a fact his deck has two cards... There we go, minus one, minus one is going to kill my card there. Very pesky. How much does that card cost, anyway? Two points? It's pretty good for two points. When you summon another creature, give it plus one, plus zero. So... Call me crazy. Calling her in. So next time I can fill a lane with Imperial... There we go. That's what I was kind of preparing for. And he has at least one more of those. No biggie, man. I don't care. You could have taken away some damage from a worse card. Alright. So this is happening. Boop. All right. And now we have eight damage in one lane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, shoot. <laughs> 
Okay, so we need to work on getting this guy's health down. Let's see, we would have to do 10 damage, which we can't do in this one turn. We're going to summon three grunts over here that are going to have the same powers as this other lane. We're going to get rid of him, and we're going to go ahead and knock this guy for two damage. That puts him in reaching distance for next turn. Son of a gun. Oh, well, I mean... Whatever. Oh, I didn't get to choose a creature to sacrifice. I would have liked to have sacrificed a creature in the right lane to be able to call that card in, but oh well. Okay, so we're going to use Drain on him so we can take two. Instead of just taking the one we would if we attacked this goblin. Which we're going to do now. And then we're going to hit him. And then we're going to hit him. Then we're going to hit him again. And again. And again. Alright, so the other lane is full. I could sacrifice a card, but I'm fairly happy with what I have going on right now. And I'm just going to let it ride. There we go. That's what I needed to happen. So. Wait, 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 let me, I don't know exactly how it calculates this. It'd be even health. But uh, I want to go ahead and make sure he has lower health than I do before I play this card. Oh, yeah. This guy is toast. The only issue I'm going to have is if he gets some really awesome curse cards that really mess me up. But I don't think he can get enough curse cards to stop what I'm going to do to him. Nope. He's not. So we're just going to go ahead and kill this dude. Got him. Cool beans. That was a very resounding defeat. I mean, as you could tell, this isn't my first time playing this round and beating it, but the quality on those videos was not nearly good enough to post on YouTube. And that was a fairly good round. I had a couple that I much, I would much rather would have posted. They were really good fights all the way through to the end, but it is what it is. That was a pretty good fight. I'll take it. Now let's see... What is in store for us next time? So this kind of ties it all together. The cultists are in league with the person we were fighting, or we were entertaining at the beginning of our campaign, and now we have to stop him from destroying an entire city. I don't like these woods. This is the shortest way I know to Skyrim. But not the safest. Hmm. So it would appear that next time we are going to be fighting our way through these woods, killing these spiders in search of this guard force that is going to help us defeat the cultists and the person in charge of them. Until then, y'all have an awesome day.